So this is not going to be my usual video, but I just had this thought process today about a few things that I want to talk about because you guys are my mates, my friends at, you know, my circle of people, you could say. And I just had this thought today that uh, about when it came to my kids. So I have three kids, daughter and two boys. My sons are nine and seven. And I have a very special relationship with my sons. They're like any dad. They look up to me um, for leadership, inspiration. Um, and they look up to me to give them the guidance that allows them to be the men that they can be. Um, now, I fully support absolutely everything they do, anything they want to do. If they want to try anything, I'm there. They want to advice on anything, I'm there. I will 100% will be there, no matter what. But it got me thinking about something today. And I just feel like I need to get it off my chest. Otherwise, I'm going to not sleep, I think. But that thought process is that I'm not scared of dying. I'm really not. I know what's going to happen one day. I'm 44 years old, so whether I'm halfway or 10 years away or 30 years away, no one really knows the answer of when your time has been called, right? Now, I'm not scared of that. I know it's going to happen. Father time is undefeated. And eventually our clock stops ticking. But what I am scared of, and I'm petrified of, is the hole that that will leave in my boy's life. Now, I know my wife will do a fantastic job and give our boys everything they need. But something tells me that my boys rely on me f a lot more than I think they do. And I need to make sure that I'm of healthy mind and body and giving myself the best chance to longevity that I can, to be around as long as I can, to ensure that I continue to inspire, lead, and support my boys to the best of my ability. And I'm deeply concerned that if I wasn't there one day, that the hole would be too big for them to deal with and it's something they would have to live with and I don't think they I don't think they're capable of being in a position without me I don't know if that makes sense but I guess I'm scared that I won't be there and I feel not in control but I feel such a big part of their lives and the way they think move act speak and I feel like I'm creating two exceptional young men. And if there was a day where I wasn't there, they would look up and look around for advice or look towards me to, uh, to help them figure out the path that they're choosing, whether that's right or wrong for them. And if I'm not there, they won't have anyone to talk to about it. And I think that's my biggest fear. I don't fear death, not one bit, not afraid at all, but I'm afraid of not being there, just afraid of not being there, I think that's what I'm talking about today, and so when I have things like my collectibles, you know, they may not mean a lot to a lot of people, but I think one day when I'm not around, my love for Chicago Bulls, my love for the NBA, my collection of memorabilia, things that mean a lot to me will also mean a lot to them. And it'll give them a piece that they can go and spend time with to maybe reflect and look on things that I would say and take them back to a place of having a, a conversation with me I guess so I don't know where this is leading but 
Don't underestimate the size of the hole that you would leave if you weren't there. Because certainly in my case, I think it would be massive. And I'm scared for that. <laughs>